Hello, my name's Tom. Um, I work at the Little Pot Company. I'm the only one who works at the Little Pot Company. Um, I just wanted to give you a brief tour of my studio um, and just uh, talk about my process of the pottery. Um, maybe you've seen pictures on my social media or join my mailing list and I just thought I'd show you around and so you can see what goes into making handmade pottery. I work from home, this is my garage um, and I work one day a week at the moment and do a bit of evenings and weekends and whenever I can really. Uh, so the process starts with the clay. Got some big bags of clay here, these are 12 and a half kilograms. Um, and then usually weigh out, if I'm making maybe 12 mugs or so, I've got some scales, um, I weigh out all my lumps of clay on my bench, and then bag them up, uh, and then just start on the wheel really. So each thing takes about 10 minutes to throw normally on the wheel, and then I'll put them on the board next to me. I've got a bench set up there and then they will dry probably one or two days and after that I'll put handles on or if the bowls are plates I might trim them and then they'll dry again for another couple of days and then they will be left to dry properly for about a week before they go in the kiln um, so here I've got some Mugs, so put handles on here, put them under plastic so that all the uh, moisture equalises and the handles don't fall off. I've got some dog bowls I'm working on that will have names. Uh, I do personalised dog bowls and mugs. Yeah, um, down here I've got all my glazes materials and make my own glazes so I've got lots of different buckets of different glazes so once all the pots are dried they go out in the kiln I'll show you that in a bit they get bisque fired so that takes about seven hours um, after the bisque firing I bring them all back in here and I glaze them so this over here is some odds and ends that I've got you can see this one is bisque fired uh, so it basically just hardens the pottery enough so you can put glaze on it um, down here I've got if anything goes wrong bits scraps of clay get recycled they just dry out and then basically make them into a slip add water mix it up with a big paddle and then dry it out on a plaster bat so you just get recycle your clay basically. I'm going to try and make this quick so I'm going to show you my packing area quickly then we'll go up to the kiln. That's some of my stock I've got there waiting to be sold hopefully. So up here I'm lucky to have a bit of a mezzanine section so this is just basically all my packing stuff and over here I've got a little photo set up, so it's an umbrella flash where I've got a camera with and some little props and things. Okay, it's you can't actually stand up in this bin, so it's a bit rubbish, but it's good. So let's go out to the kiln. This kiln's in the garden, just a sec. So decided to build a gas kiln. I did have a, uh, an electric kiln but I've always been interested in doing gas firing. Here's my gas bottles. So I built a kiln shed. Just out of a few bits of wood. Put some metal sheeting. 
So when I bring the pots out, I've got a board here, put the pots on here, and this is the kiln, it's under wraps at the moment. But so I've got the burner, gas burner goes in here, fires into the kiln chimney here. I've loaded it up last night with a few things so they're just ready to bisque fire. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it. I don't want to waffle on for too long but um, it's a fairly long process I mean start to finish although it takes about 10 minutes to throw a pot on the wheel uh, I estimate it takes about an hour for each pot to be made. Um, so yeah, that's basically why it costs so much compared with something that's made in a factory. Um, but I think it's worth it, the very unique items. Um, and that's why I love it really, because everyone's different. Uh, so if you have any questions, just send me a message. Uh, I always respond to all my emails, so be good to hear from you. See you soon. Bye.